Hey guys, my name is Nate and I'm the Otter Outdoorsman and today we're going to be testing out the contents of my May Karen box which includes me trying out a bar made of cricket powder. Let's get going. Okay guys, uh, so if you want to get to the testing video, um, I'll have an annotation up here and how to get to back to the playlist, but as you heard correct, in this one, and I'm going to be doing this last because that's the most special, I'm going to be trying out a bar made with cricket protein. I'll explain more about that later. But let's take a peek at the double wall mug. Um, let's see, eco, eco vessel, double, it says the double barrel is insulated with two layers of premium stainless steel made bolt. Cold and hot drinks. Take a double barrel any place and enjoyable. Enjoy your favorite drink anytime from ice cold beverage to a hot herbal tea. Uh, it's BPA free, BPA free and recyclable. Hmm. But something like this, uh, eco vessel. There we go. Okay. So something like this. I don't know if I, I, can't, I can't really test time that now just because of time, but, ooh, cool, I can save 25% on the next sale. Coupon. Um, something like this will come in really handy on some of my trips uh, that I do camping, where more car camping, something like this would be great. Maybe okay for hiking, but I prefer my metal containers when I go camping to be one layer just because I do like to take my metal container and just <laughs> right into the fire. So, what do I do? Okay, so, now we look at this. It's pretty cool, that, that lights up like that. And so, I mean, that'd be useful on camp trips just to mark where my tent is. It does say it, let's see, does it give a time? A hundred hours, and am I? Ooh, it blinks. So this one blinks, and so it goes on, blinks, and then turns off. Uh, it says it goes for a hundred hours, and it actually does have a replaceable battery, uh, which looks like it's just right in there that I can replace it. Something like this may be really useful for having a little red light to mark where my camp is, because I do occasionally lose my camp. I can do that. I can wrap it around a tree, wrap it around something like that. This would be good. So I just at night when I'm walking, when I walk, um, like when I go uh, camping with Malcolm um, to our normal spot, sometimes I, I go maybe 10, 15 feet or even further just away from the base camp, just to set up my camp just so I have a quiet place to sleep. And sometimes I do just get misturned around with a flashlight, something like this to mark my camp. It's lightweight, it would be useful just to keep around camp and I mean this could be used for an emergency or just to mark where I'm walking but this just slap it on my camp for the night uh just when I get to camp so then I can just before when it turns dark so I can know where my camp is and then you know until when I go to bed just turn it off um be useful probably I'm not I was thinking about turning off the light for this but it, it's not really worth it, it that's obviously going to be seen if you can see it on camera and in person on, I can see it at night. Um, <laughs> okay, now to stop and to annoy you guys by clipping this onto ah, the tripod. There we go. Okay, so on to the bandana. This feels nice. Um, let's see.
you guys can see it more. Hopefully you can hear me through this. Um, this one looks like it has a lot of... It actually just has like a bunch of survival tips on it. Things on water collection, food collection. Um, things this can be used for actually. So it, it basically gives tips for how it can be used. Uh, danger trail, so it gives you suggestions for do's and don'ts with different animals. Uh, let's see. Star navigation. How to use things for navigation. And things on signaling, being visible, and yeah, and also shows you how to wear it. Some fire tips. Hiking checklist. How to build a little information on shelters. And some general tips on wilderness survival. Though, please learn survival basics before you go on trips where you may need them. Don't rely on reading something from this. But, you never know. This may be a good refresher. And actually something like this, I may actually look into it. Um, my survival kit that I made, this may be perfect for it. Just a thought. Um, By the time this comes out, the, my personal survival kit won't be out, but it would have been shown off slightly, um, and that will be out next week, I believe. I don't know when I have it actually scheduled. No, I do. It, it'll be out next week. Um, of what, it's in my personal kit, personal survival kit, and just make it added. Um, am I out of items to test? No. It's time powder protein bar so this is a it's called the Chaco bar and it's made with peanut butter it's a peanut butter and chocolate bar, uh, peanut butter and chocolate bar it's, it's a dairy free no soy and all natural um, contains all essential amino acids um, which is important because we can't produce all of them in our body it, it gives some information on why to eat Crickets, let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Focus. There we go. And just, just pause the screen on those. Um, let's see. And ingredients. And ingredients and nutritional value. Pause the screen on that. Okay. I'm going to eat cricket powder for the first time. A uh, product made with it. Organic dates. So it's a date bar also. So. And chapula cricket flour. Which, who knows. If I like the cricket flour, maybe I'll use it in the future. For cooking. It smells like a regular peanut butter chocolate date bar. And so you guys know this isn't a stand-in stunt bar. <laughs> okay, there we go. I don't normally get plate fright. Oh god, oh. that's actually not bad. Oh crunch. Not too much of a crunch, but I think that's... I think that's the peanuts in it. 
Honestly, this bar tastes like a brownie. I think if we hid cricket flour and something like this, I think more people would eat it. Honestly, I like it. Um, so I was going to say, I, as I said, so I think I said it, I don't know which video I said it. Uh, so there is a movement right now to eat more crickets. Um, and I'm not really going to try and stand on a soapbox with this, but um, crickets are, this kind of a small revolution trying to go with uh, making crickets more acceptable to eat in America. Um, outside of America, in places, in places like Mexico and, and other parts of the world, including Asia, invertebrates and crustaceans, uh, not crustaceans, uh, invertebrates are very, very common protein sources there. And one of the big things about them is they are very sustainable to farm. Um, and the amount f per pound of cricket you tend to spend less in water and land than you would for, say, cows. And don't get me wrong, I like steak as much as the next guy. In fact, steak is one of my favorite foods to eat. But at the same time, I understand things like crickets. If I just need that protein, it's more sustainable. And sustainable eats generally is better for the planet we live on. And better money-wise, I mean... I mean, think of it this way versus having wide open pastures for cows, which again, as I said, I love steak. Um, we can have smaller boxes, of, we can have smaller space being used up by crickets to have protein. And something like this is something I've been thinking about trying to get more into eating, not just because, you know, in, in, if I went on a survival excursion, I'd have to potentially eat invertebrates, which that's part of the reason why. But the other reason why is it's common in other parts of the world. And it's sustainable. And actually in those countries, part of the world, they actually often say it's really good. Apparently Chapulinas, which is a fried cricket dish, which is generally used in tacos, um, is actually really good. <laughs> Some people say, and Honestly, I think I, I, I'd like to try it. Um, then I've, I've looked into some of that stuff. Um, but the Chapula Cricket Bar, I may actually look into more. Um, I just want to... Last quick peek in here. Sometimes they add... Let's see if I can miss anything in the box. Nope, okay. Sometimes they add, like, coupons in it, but I just want to make sure I didn't miss that. Um, so, honestly... This gets my seal of approval. Actually, I kind of like it better than last week's bar, um, which was good as the sweet potato bar. Um, now, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, my name is Nate. I'm the Otter Outdoorsman. This has been the May Karen Box. I'm going to go make my girlfriend eat this. And you guys have a good day. And remember, get out in the woods and have some fun. See everyone.